Let's move on to forbidden movements. Uh, one common problem in colonoscopy is the air issue. The air button is easily available, so it's quite uh, easy to get into it and just hold the fingertip on it. And uh, you want to have a good view of the lumen, so you just blow air so you can continue. And you want to have a almost clear view of the colon. But by doing this, you get into trouble. So you have a very nice view so that you can continue. But look at the sigmoid colon. Even if I try hard, I cannot pull it down. It's impossible because of the air and this confined cage, which is the abdomen. So the only way to continue is to decrease the air if you get into this situation so that you can really reduce this. So please take care of the air button. Typical mistake seen with right and left movements using the shaft of the endoscope. Okay, this right and left shaft movement that people think that work, as you can see, does not do anything inside the colon. So this is a movement that is, should be forbidden. Twisting your wrist at the control body is crucial for a rotational effect at the tip of the endoscope. Improper way to control angulation. Okay, another forbidden movement. Don't use your right hand to do the right and left angling. To manipulate the endoscope, you want to use up and down angulation with the joint of your thumb. Up, down, and with the tip of your thumb, left, right. And now you can combine these movements, like this. Improper way of reducing a loop. A common problem in colonoscopy is to get a loop outside the colon at the shaft of the instrument. The common recommendation is that you send that loop to the umbilicus. But by doing that, sending it, you shorten the umbilicus and you reduce the mobility of the instrument. So movements at, the, at this level become more difficult. So you reduce your movements. The correct way to reduce it is by rotating the shaft of the instrument like this. Slowly and... And lastly, don't push the colonoscope too much. You see... The inside of the lumen is not moving, but you still try to push. What is happening is you're making a huge loop inside the abdomen, and this is very painful for the patient. So when you see this movement in the colon, you should not push further. <laughs>